بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله a question was asked from one of our brothers in Sheffield UK he says السلام عليكم يا أستاذ my question is that I am currently 18 years old and I'm seeking a two year diploma in my education which will enable me to go to university I personally intend to go and seek Islamic knowledge and become a scholar. I've applied to the universities in Saudi like uh, Medina and I'm waiting back uh, from them to hear from them. But I don't get accepted. But if I don't get accepted there, I intend to go somewhere else to seek knowledge, uh, either in Egypt or, or elsewhere. So I'm still, since I'm still here though, I'm trying to find a job which will enable me to save some money so when I have finished my education here, I can go seek knowledge and some saving to help me out. The problem is many jobs here require you to work in haram, in a haram environment or indirectly be involved in haram. What do you advise me to do? Jazakallah khairan. Wa iyakum. Uh... First and foremost, I would advise you with the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam. Qala nabiyana salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi. Inna al-halal bayyan wa inna al-haram bayyan. Wa baynahuma wa mura mushtabihat. La ya'lamuhunna kathira min al-nas. Faman attaqa shubahat istabra li dinihi wa irdih. Wa man waqa' fi shubahat. The Prophet ﷺ said, Verily halal, the lawful things are clear, and the unlawful things are clear, and between them are doubtful things that many of the people are unaware of. Uh, and then he وسلم, said, Whoever uh, fears or avoids or prohibits himself from the shubahat, from those doubtful things, then they have safeguarded their deen and their erd and their honor. And whoever does the doubtful things, then they fall into haram. Illa akhara hadith. Until the rest of the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this hadith is is i think one of the best ways to address this question that you should do uh, fear Allah as much as you can and rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will yarzaqukum min he will provide you this is not the ayat but he will provide you from places uh, w which you uh, are unaware of. Meaning, you know, he'll provide for you, give you risk from places that you can't account for. That Places you, you don't even know how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide for you if you fear him. This is the one of the means for rizq is striving to get the halal and trying to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible. And we know that taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the ulama is a reference to uh, iltizam or adhering to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. So if a person strives to adhere to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we know that al amri fi the wujub, that this is the asal of a command, that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands something, or the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commands something, then that command it shows it's an obligation. It's something you must do in its origin, unless there's other dalil. And dalil meaning something from the book or something from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to show you that it is not a, an obligation, but yet it is uh, maybe it's mustahab or something else, one of the other ahkam khamsa. So, with that being the case, as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that the one who safeguards, uh, the one who, who uh, avoids the shubahat, those doubtful 
ways. And for you, that would mean doubtful forms of employment, employment that you're not really sure if it's halal or haram. By leaving off those doubtful things, uh, you safeguard your religion and your honor. So the advice then is strive your utmost to find something halal. And I believe that there are uh, many halal choices there in the UK, although I haven't lived in the UK, I'm not from the UK, but in America we know there are many other options, many, many options, in, but America is a much bigger economy. But the point being is that there are halal options. So strive your best to find something, find some ways to make other halal incomes, especially now there's so many different ways with the internet. And Allah will make a way for you to save your money in order to go on that great and honorable and beautiful path in which all of creation makes dua for you. And this is the path to Jannah. So don't think for a minute that if you have sincere intention that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to make a way for you. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ سَلَكَ تَرِيكًا يَلْتَلْمِسُهُ بِهِ عِلْمٍ سَخَ لَلَّهُ لَهُ تَرِيكًا لَلْجَنَّةً That whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. So Allah will make that, that path easy for the talib al-ilm. And that means the person who is following the criterion of the Salaf al-Salih, which the Salaf used to say about seeking knowledge, what did they say? They said, Talib al-ilm, Talib al-Jannah. Seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. So with that being the case, because seeking Islamic knowledge means you're seeking to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that takes a khlas. And it means you're seeking, uh, you know, the highest form of knowledge, ilm al nafiyah that which will benefit you in this life as well as the hereafter. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make a way for you. So that would be my advice, is to avoid definitely that which is clearly haram, and avoid even the shubahat, those things which you find that are doubtful. And as a last point, when you find something uh, that you're not sure about, then go back to the Quran where Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem فَأَسَلَّهَ لِذِكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. So, if you have a way in being in the UK, there's so many tulab al-ilm there and there's so many people that have knowledge there and so many ulama that even come there and students who have access to ulama, then if you have something doubtful, take it to one of them. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.